Hello and welcome. This video is all about being quick, simple and straight to the point, where I'm going to address which way round the diaphragm and gasket goes when it's reinstalled on these Briggs & Stratton diaphragm type engines. So here it is. And there's only one way round this can go and it's obvious once you match it up. But the diaphragm goes on first and you just match up the shape of the diaphragm with the shape of the plate on the fuel tank. And then the gasket goes on top of that. And so our nice clean carburetor is ready to put back on. So the best way to orientate this is to aim for the fuel pickup pipe to go into the small hole. This spring needs to rest on top of the diaphragm here. And then just lower the carburetor down onto the gasket. And so the carburetor, the gasket and the diaphragm and the top of the fuel tank are all the same shape. And we can see that nothing is sticking out there and all is okay. That means we should have clear screw holes now to place back in the screws. If you would rather have a free printable download leaflet, then there's a link down there to that as well. The link goes directly onto my website where you can download a copy of this, as I've said, absolutely free. The download is an easy to follow step by step instruction on how to replace these diaphragms. And the best part about that is you haven't got to take your computer or your laptop or your iPad into the workshop with you. You can print off the download and take that in and work from the sheet in your own time. And so now I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you for watching.